Hello there, everyone. Welcome. Today we're in the, the new DCS World Grip and Mod. You can see we've got my wingman over there. We're on our way into northern Syria to, from Innsbruck in Turkey to perform a SEAD strike, suppression of enemy air defences. It's a really basic little mission I've made. I'll show you very quickly what we're doing. Um, so we're really over. Come on, we're over here. As you can see, I have a try to film this once already. We're just going to take off over the sea down to Hete is where we've got an SA-10 battery to attack and destroy. We've got one wingman. Pretty simple. I say we're in Czech Air Force. We're flying 9242. I'm not really sure we even need the T-Pod, but I've got uh, the uh, anti-radiation missiles that we're going to use and four 250-pound Mark 82s. And we've also got some some short-range IRST, IRST, sorry, um, soft, you know, missiles for self-defense, but I'm not, again, I'm not expecting us to have to use that. Got a wingman over there. He's got exactly the same weapons fit. Um, what we'll do is we're going to fly out, I say, and we're going to just use this as a as a chance to sort of, um, you know, get you to get to know, I guess, the grip a little bit better. So I'm going to go for that break in the mountains. I'm just going to get a rough bearing for myself, just because I would have prepped this pre-mission, obviously, and had notes, but, yeah. You know what I'm like. 137. That's 137 selected. So I'm not using burner, I'm just using, you know, probably, well, just short of mill power. I do actually want to check some of the trim ups I've got. So I'm just going to quickly set my trim up. There we go. So trim's now set up. Just that's you know, unfortunately that's just the nature of you know getting to used to flying a new aircraft is it takes you a while just to figure out all the key commands you need. But the Vigor is just oh, yeah. I say the cockpit does feel a little bit clean. I guess is the phrase I'm going to use. Unfortunately, the screens don't work for the most part. You can use the T-Pod, uh, which turns one of the screens on. But, you know, obviously, it's not It's it's not a full module. It's a mod. You know, this is... Oh, so sexy. Um, you know, it's, it's, a free, it's a free expansion for the game. And as I say, like, there's stuff I like, there's stuff I don't like as much. And, you know, I'm one of those... The way I sort of view this is I, I don't like... Um, you know, I don't like the idea of judging mods too strictly. I'm trying to see if I can pull them into a close formation. No, I can't. Um, but, yeah. You know, at the same time, the air to air version, I know the screens are pulled from an F-15. But this is the air to ground version. Um, again, that's a limitation of it being a mod. Um, we, uh, yeah, we can't have what we want for now. Actually, down here, that's quite nice. I'm going to have a look at a Vigan cockpit and whilst we cruise out there. Yeah, you know what? I'll actually I'll take a slight cl climb. I think the trim is probably a little hypersensitive too. Um, it's an autopilot feature. This is basically a Su-25 avionically, so probably not. Oh no, there is. So it's just A4 autopilot. Nice. Hmm. Yes, I, I've got 80s pop stuck in my head. It's cringy as anything, and don't worry, it's worse for me. That's all I can say to that. And then we'll trim forward a bit. You see, I put as soon as I put a lump of forward trim in, it just immediately... It's, I say it's very finickety, is what I would probably describe this as, politely. There you go, that's an alright trim setting, I guess. But, no, no. See, that is, that is the difference between one piece of trim either way. It's rather unstable. But the flight model is something that is going to be changed and adjusted and made better. So, you know, I'll, I'll take that with a pinch of salt. Oh dear. Bit of an oscillation there. Up over pretty much wings level. So it's just get an update bearing. So I want to go for 131. Yeah, we'll just go for that the, the valley. We're going to fly down the valley and then um, pop out from there. What I'll do is I'm going 
go and set IP to ground. Weapon change to my Mar 1. Turn my. Uh, I'm looking for radar sources on, and we'll cruise over there. So I'm, I'm going to do my super sneaky. Tired to do the time warp again. So it's interesting because it's obviously a Russian aircraft, the speed's in kilometres an hour, and the altitude's in metres, which is. It's interesting. Like, I, So it's weird. I. I'm obviously from the UK, for the most, well, I said I'm, ha I'm half Czech, which is why I'm using a Czech Air Force livery. But I've, sort of, most of my perception of distance, shall we say, sorry about that siren, I live in a rough part of town, what can I say? But most of my perception of distance is in miles. Anything beyond, sort of, half a mile, miles make sense. Anything below that, meters make sense. Feet just doesn't. Um, but, when I'm flying an aeroplane, meters, it's weird. You know, I can convert meters to miles, but I can't convert meters to feet. In, way, well, in my head, you know. Because one mile is about 1.7 um, thousand, 1.7k, 1, 1,700-ish meters. You know, I'm not talking exact numbers. Just sort of rough amounts. Right, we're going to use terrain screening. As soon as we fly around the mountain, we'll pick up our uh, radar emitters, hopefully. Uh, so we're attacking in uh, we're attacking a we're attacking this. It's basically a radar on a lollipop stick. Two of them. Um you can see we're popping around. That's where the target is. We're popping around this side of the mountains effectively at this point. So yeah. Um nope. Mile one, ground mode. I to enable that. Right. Full power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to do this because, again, I haven't done it yet. Some communications. It needs to be that. For some reason, it's actually the same key on the keyboard. Flight. Engage. Air defenses. We can't actually see the target yet to engage it. Tally her tight. So what we'll do, I'm going to hit the target from the right. Come on. Oh dear god, what's happened to my key commands? Target lock, joystick button four. Me too. Interestingly, there's a bug, so when you get shot down it... That's interesting. I got shot down and it didn't crash the game. So for some reason we didn't get our missiles off. Interesting. I'll pause and I'll be right back. Also, the way Sam launches, you know, the the effect the contra has in the sky is crazy, in my opinion. But let's we'll, fit, we'll have a go at that, and I'll come back in in a minute. Okay, okay, just like that, we are back. So, um, we set us to a slightly different place. What we're going to do is have a play. So, ground, Elon on. Let's check what my ECM is because that will hopefully help us a bit. ECME. So yeah, we'll turn ECM on, so that's going to hopefully... Yep, there we go. Tally target. It's got our first target. And I'm going to just push the nose down. There you go. That's our target locked. So I'm going to run straight towards it. Max speed. What we'll do is we're going to instruct our wingman to do the same thing in attack. Engage. Our defences. What I'm going to do is give it five. Um, okay, I'm not getting a launch mode, but I've got a sandbush against me, so missiles away. There you go. Uh, 
I'm not hiding behind high terrain. You can see, so they can't see me. This missile's exceptionally quick. Accelerating through 1400 miles an hour. 1600. Oh, so decelerating now. No, accelerating again. 2000. Bonk. And that is the S300 search radar dead. That's not what's, what's going to kill us, but it just it degrades the rest substantially. So we're going to go back in and try again. So the aircraft shouts over G, over G as soon as you seem to exceed 5G. There's my other, other colleague. Hello. Um, pop up over the top. See if we get the symbology. There we go. Target's over there. So it's really dead easy. Target lock. Depressed. Missile away. Bear in mind, covering 8G. This is fine. There you go. Missile can't see me anymore. So at this point, we are. Actor falls on so I can cheat a little bit. Bonk! That's one of our search radars destroyed. I am barely out of trouble. So what we're going to do is it's time to go... We get the point, mate. So what we'll do is we're going to go down a low level and try and do an attack. This is going to be ultra low level, hiding behind terrain on the way in, kind of sneaky, beaky attack runs. ECM for jamming. So ECM isn't a silver bullet in this sort of situation. But it just makes it harder. You know, making those operators work harder. That's probably at me. I'm going to notch. Go. Pull up. Pull up. This is Hatea Matt, I'm on the airfield. Gotta stay nice and close Overgy. in now. Overgy. 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 Come, on. Overgy. Come on. For some reason, it seems to pick all my missiles at one, or my bombs correction at once. No idea why it does that, but I think we just hit roll launches there. Pretty close to them. And we just threw... Is our fourth bomb gone? There's only three in the air. Interesting. Just going to quickly... Bonk! Oh no! How terrible! Although that's a thumbnail right there. Hang on a second. Okay, so yeah, that is, as I say, that is definitely a messed up SAM site. So let's look at the actual you know, damage here. So we've half killed that radar. We've killed one of the radars. There's one radar still standing. Um, we've wrecked a load of the launchers, which is good. Where's my colleague gone? Oh, did he die? How, 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 how inconvenient. Okay, what we're going to do is... Right, I'm going to have a go at that radar with my gun since we're the last aircraft standing in the airspace. If I can put a couple of holes in it with HE rounds, then, you know... Lollipop on a shtick. Correction radar on a shtick. Boom. Radar dead. And they can't track us anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to... So really, that's Siad. Um, that was definitely Siad or Diad. You know, more... I, I was there's a really interesting video on Wild Weasels, a oh, correction, sorry, podcast slash interview with uh, on the Fighter Pilot podcast. I strongly recommend giving giving them, uh, you know, going and checking it out. They talk about a lot of it in detail about um, you know what wild weaseling is, and unfortunately, you know, this isn't really the aircraft for it. F sixteen 
brilliant. Uh, F-18, pretty awesome, um, you know. But this aircraft, unfortunately, you know, it forced us to pick all our bombs at once when really only needed one or two bombs on that on that first target we used. So it is what it is. But I honestly really enjoyed that. Um, ECM can go off now. Launch authority override can go off. We'll go to en route mode, which is that one there. And I'm going to go to back away point. Okay. 168. That'll do me. About 100 miles away. We'll go up to high level. I've never actually had this thing up in the high level environment, so we'll give that a crack. What I'll do, I'm going to check some of my weapons. So if for some reason you don't get rid of the, the bomb racks when you jettison, that's another thing I've noticed. And again, you know, this is a mod, it's very early days, so I understand you know, some stuff isn't perfect yet. But it's just, it's one of those things, I feel like it's something I have to mention. Also, I feel like I'm sitting really far forward. I know I'm zoomed in, but... Yeah, I feel like I'm, you know... Yeah, I feel like my... I don't know. Let's see how fast Fuel this thing goes. 1500. Okay. I mean, what we're doing, 480 knots to 12,000 feet. It's, you know, the gripping, it's pretty awesome. And sustained rate fight is... I mean, I feel Overgy. like the wing's Overgy. barely moving. You know, bear in mind how fast we're going. Push the nose down very controllable as well and again I'm not sure if that's the standard flight model you know just doing its thing there but that is you know one of the really nice things about this is I don't feel like I'm going to kill myself in it very much um, let's do a vector's home so we're going to Instralic which is the airfield there so that's 40 miles 309 which is Four degrees right of track. So I was actually watching a really interesting interview again uh, on the Fight of Pilot podcast. I, I listen to these a lot when I'm at work. Um, and it was about the uh, F-15. And one of the pilots was talking about basically being deployed to Instralic, um, you know, for the, basically the, to protect Turkey in the event that um, er, er, um, Iraq decided to um, you know, attack there. So they were only basically only told you're only allowed defensive weapons. Um, so that they're, they're airborne, you know, going down to, I guess, you know, this sort of side of things. Um, and the only weapons they have on board are sidewinders. Because basically they were only told you're, you're, told you're only allowed defensive ordnance. Um, we, d we, don't, we don't think, you know, politically we don't think... Um, we don't think Sparrow missiles are particularly defensive. Let's see if we can spot the airfield. Negative. Um, yes. Yeah, so as I say, it is it is a very nice um, aircraft to sort of play with and use. It does just take a little bit of getting used to, in certain regards. Uh, so, we, uh, yeah, waypoint one is, the, well, off initial target point. Yeah, it's a shame. For some reason, I thought waypoint zero would be on, on the airfield in Srilik, but, nah, it is what it is. 28 nautical miles, 311. I need my magical powers of... Oh no, my point two is home plate by the looks of things. Um, heading now three three one, quite a ways off. But yeah, the hood. That's one of my other bits of feedback. Is the hood feels really small. Um, so what I mean is, the it's not the actual size of the hood hood glass itself. But the information contained within. Let's go external. I feel like we'll probably see more there. Um, ATC, Instralic, 
in bound. Enfield 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so it wants us to circle around, but it's due north of here. Tally. Well, unfortunately we lost the wingman, but we've, we were victorious. So what I'm going to do is do a low pass on what I think is Intralic. Yep, that's it. I'll do a low level pass on the runway. Like the blowers. Pull up. Pull up. Be a supersonic pass. Okay, I'm gonna break and I'm gonna land. We let them know we won. In the downwind, 600k. Really not losing any speed at all. Nice pedal air brakes on the back there. Gear down. Gear down. Yep, gear kick down. the gear down. Full flap. Power on. Ooh, that's a bit of a balloon. So you can see it felt like we went up pretty quickly there without the pitch changing. Um, and I believe that is what a balloon is. Power off. Bit quick. 880 knots, yeah, probably a bit quick for an empty jet, but eh. My first landing on type. Yep, you heard right. Okay. Nice. So I've got the nose of doing some aerodynamic braking. Nose wheel down 100 knots. There we go. So, thank you. Oh, look at that's cool. Look what the, av the nose does. To, it pushes the nose down, doesn't it? It's basically pushes the um, canards to full forward stick. Right. What I'm going to do, I am going to very quickly jump into the mission editor and I'll show you guys the weapons available for the air to ground and the air to air versions. Unfortunately, I don't own the F 15 in DCS as such. I'm unable to uh, use that right now. But it's also this is standard flight model, so it's very stable on the ground. Like you wouldn't be able to do this in a real thing, and it just go, oh no, you know, that ain't happening, I know. Although something tells me my nose wheel's busted. That's a weird. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, so obviously the real thing would rock from side to side. Anyway, let's check my scoreboard. Scores on the doors. Six, six, see, that is something I don't like about the point system. Six, 60 points. I feel like that was some pretty tactical flying, so I feel like we deserve a bit more than that. But let's have a look at the mission editor. Mission Eight Eddie Torre, and I'll show you very fast. Yeah, I cheated for the second part because I couldn't be bothered to refly. But this is the, um, basically, when you come to sack the aircraft, you have the AS-39 grip and AG. If I change the task to nothing, you see the AS-39 gripping, full stop. 
you know so this is the background variant this is the version we were in today this is our bomb load for the day on the outboard pylons you can have an aim 9 lima or an irs irs t which is the sort of more modern variant you've also got the uh, basically this is the dogfight data mode so data pod so about, like if you're dogfighting this will tell you if you've killed someone um on the inner pylons we can take one of the one of those two m9 lima irs t at ground missiles we've got a maverick k um we've got a brimstone which is these are actually hellfire missiles pretty much but um basically the idea is you know you you need more than the gun but less than a than a maverick you use one of these you've got three to a rack which is quite cool not used them yet so i can't feed back on them the mar one which is what we fired today um which is a the really high speed anti-radiation missile um the rbs 15 which is the uh, i believe it's the sea it's it's a factory swedish sea eagle um and then the Ma maverick e as well so that's the maverick e if you can see it's even got the us air force markings which is a bit unfortunate but it's what it is that's the k um let's have a look further so you've got bombs you've got the same unguided uh, yeah, slick bombs as the vegan does um, you've got BK-90, which is unguided. I've not used that yet. I was going to use that today, but I wasn't too sure on how it worked. Mark 82 is like we used on our strike today. GBU-12, pretty standard bit of kit. I, I do like the white livery, because that seems to be more common with the European Air Forces. Um, GBU-49, which looks exactly the same, surprisingly. GBU-16. Um, yeah, then some single Mark 82 and a single Mark 83, which is the £1,000 variant. You've got rockets, you've got the standard vegan rocket pod there. Again, pretty cool to use. I'll show that off in a future video. Other than that, you can also stick a 1700 litre tank on or a 1100. 1100 litres on the center line, 1700 on, on the, the outboard pylon there. And you can also stick storm shadows, these big boy um, cruise missiles on there. Um, it, the game treats it like an anti radiation missile because, you know, without an SDK, there's a limit to what you can do. You've got the Elint pod, which is a Phantasmagoria, so it's basically a rip of the Russian pod. You've got center line, you've got exactly the same ordnance um, as you had on the wings. ECM pod, which is the Sorbitia, uh, which is it's obviously all hidden, you know, the inside, not modeled. You've got the Lightning pod, which is basically the Shkral, the Russian Shkral pod, but it's, you know, pretend to be a Lightning. You know, things like, it, you know, it doesn't do things like fold away when it's not in use, stuff like that. And then the same weapons echo at the right. You also get a gun in there as standard. We used that on the pass. Interestingly, the gun is off the um, trigger button, not the, I'm gonna quickly get rid of that because I can see I'm about to start watching a premiere and ruining my effort there. But, but, but it fires off the, the bomb pickle instead of the, the trigger button, which is a bit strange. That was my other bit of feedback. And again, I'm not sure if that's correct to the aircraft, but I don't think it would be. All right, that's pretty much everything. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to see more from me on a similar regular basis, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye for now.